Okay, it's me, AMV Maker Ren, and today I'm showing you how to uh, crack lightning return. Final Fantasy 13 Part 3, I believe. Whatever it is. What you're going to need is these three files right here, which I will have in the description. It's a Final Fantasy 13 encryptor description. Whatever the hell it's called, I can't I can't pronounce shit. And you're gonna have the brute force save editor 4.17, which is like the newest one before their server pretty much went down because of a PS3 cheat something like that. I don't know. And you're gonna need a file decryptor this description. I can't pronounce. Yeah. And you're gonna have to have your save. You're gonna want to hack. This is my save, which as soon as you uh, for the first arc, first time you get into to the arc, that's where it is. My profile, Final Fantasy 13, there's a save. First thing you want to do is open Final Fantasy 13 encoder. I don't want to call it that. This is it's a 360 uh, heaven. So. Yeah, this worked for PS3 too, not just 360. What we're going to do is find where you put your save. Mine's on my desktop right here. BJ, uh, BLJ. Click open. See how when you open it, it's uh, encrypted right there? Keep it like that for right now. Next, open root for save editor. You're gonna have all this stuff. So click X. Now find your game. Make sure it's desktop. Right there. And boom. After that, you're not click rebuild or any of that. Everything should be fine. As long as you're not downloading someone someone else's game save, you should be alright. Now here's the part where you have to understand because this. Nothing really confusing, it's just you gotta pay attention. This file key will open your uh, lightning return game, get the decrypted uh, text, put it into the save. And after that, minimize it or close it, doesn't matter. Then now, after you do that, you go right here to decrypt. And a file should be decrypted right now. Go back to your, uh, your genie, or, or not a genie, but a uh, brute force save editor, and click uh, refresh. Now it is green. This is where you can enable cheats. So go right here. You should have this cheat option. Click cheats, apply cheats, and there's the cheats that are available at the moment. The difference between these two are pretty much what it exactly says. If you click this, this will pretty much restart you, restart your game. If you go here, this will pretty much put you to the end of the game. And if you uh, want want to go get your time back, like if you say let's see, you're on a fixed fifth day, you can reset your time completely, and still be where you were. So pretty much this resets your game to different certain points, and this just resets your time. That's the difference between time mode. Uh, mode. And this right here, the equipment set, this will uh, equip three different uh, suit for you. I forgot the name, I forgot what it's called in the game. But yeah, that, that's what it would do. So equip that if you want to. Curse, cr uh, treasure of all kinds of 99. All kind of other tre treasure. Game progress on day, oh never mind. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all key items and ability to max power. That, those are the only cheats available at this time. Not to that, I click apply cheats. It cheats applied. Do not click encrypt right there, PD, PFD. What you want to do is go to your uh, save where you're right here, delete it, or just drag it out. I want to keep mine. Because I don't want to download it again. Close that. Put this on your USB. 
plug it back into your system, load it, and boom, it should work. If it doesn't, leave a comment below. That's how you hack Final Fantasy 13. Oh, wait, 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 before that, you. Oh, snap, you gotta put this back in there. And you have to encrypt it. Then take it out. I hope I didn't mess it up. Boom. That's how you do it.